Okay, so this is a tutorial of how to create imprinted text for any object. We're going to use this by using a Boolean. So, what we need to do first of all is press Shift A and add a text. Here's our text, as you see here it's on the floor. Press G and Z to move it up. And R, X, 90 move it forward. Here's our text. So with this text we can go down to the text settings and first of all we can change the alignment to centre so that the origin point is right in the centre of the text so it rotates around there. Set up the sign. Then what we can do is we can go to geometry and set the extrude up so our text becomes 3D like this. This is how we're going to create our modifier and you might want to add different fonts to your text so by doing that you can go to font and set regular just click this little folder icon here and it will take you to your windows fonts or otherwise you could go to a cool website called dafont.com they have all these different sorts of fonts so you simply just choose your font you simply choose your font download it it will go into your download tab and now, back in Blender, you can click on your font, go to Downloads, and find your font. You may have to unpack your zip file. So, here's my font. See, now my text is all fancy and fonted. So, now what we can do is press GZ and move our font into the middle. Scale it up if you want. And it's right here in the middle of our sign. Press GY to see how deep you want it. Next, what we need to do is change our text into a mesh. So rather than just being a text, oh, by the way, if you want to change your text, just simply go to edit mode and you can write whatever you want. So I'll write. Here, here we go. Here's my text. And now that, I, now that I've got my text, all you need to do is go up here to edit, menu search, and select con, con object convert mesh. Once you click that, you'll see that this is now just a mesh. Do not look at the UVs, I'm not going to fix that in this video. And now we can click on our sign, click add modifier, boolean, and select the object to be your text. It will freeze for a second, and now it's done. See now, if we hide our text by pressing H, you can see that it's now imprinted on our space. Alternatively, alternatively, and this is a much better way of doing this, you can delete the Boolean modifier, and you can just simply click on the, so the sign and click on the subscribe letters. And under Edit Preferences, you can enable the Ball Tool add-on. And so in the side here, we can go to edit, ball tool, and just under brush boolean, select difference. So set the sign, select your text, and set difference. And you might have done it the wrong way around, I just did then. Set your text, and then set your sign, and set difference. Here we can see, this is now fully we can see exactly what we're doing. It's going to be a bit laggy as it's calculating all this in real time. So I can pre I can now extend the depth as wanted. And so yeah, that is how to imprint that is onto the sign. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Please do this, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Latest. Also, thank you for 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it.